everyone welcome to hunt electronics and this is your friend shakib so in today's technical session we are going to see detail about the frequency response of low pass filter so my dear friend from the name itself you come to know so this is a low pass means the low frequency uh, is passed at the output and high frequency is attenuated over here so you can see this is a simple uh, circuitry of low pass filter which co consists of r and c and this is the nature of the output so if you plot a graph at the output you can see here frequency versus the output voltage over here that is in the 20 log of v naught upon v in so you can see here at the start when the frequency signal is very low you will get the maximum output but as we go on increasing the output uh, output frequency sorry input frequency the output goes on reducing why because we know the reactance of the capacitance which is in the shunt it is x is equal to 1 upon 2 pi fc and if you see the reactance and the frequency are inversely proportional to each other so here as the frequency increases the reactant decreases so when the frequency goes on increasing over here what is happening this reactant goes on decreasing so as this reactance goes on decreasing all the signal is passing through the capacitor and it is going towards the ground so at the output you will get a low output over here so in today's technical session we are going to perform this uh, actual practical on the setup and let us take the reading and let us justify the output graph of this okay so for this uh, we required so here we have got one function generator which has got the output capacity up to uh, 1 megahertz over here with a variable frequency we have got a CRO okay so next we have got a setup over here this is 1k resistor uh, and 0 0.1 microfarad of the capacitor over here so at the starting we have to see whether the everything is calibrated or not so i will be connecting this with each other so here you can see here it is a sine wave over here with a voltage so it is five over here, but in actual it is, uh, but uh, in actual it is uh, ten volt pick to pick. So let us check at the output over here. So we can see here one, two, three, four, five. We have connected to the channel one. So five multiplied by two. So this becomes the ten volt. So we have connected ten volt. So this ten volt will be the input to the circuitry. So let us see. First turn off the input. Okay. And this will be the output over here. So you can see here, this is the input to the circuitry which is I have given from the function generator and this is the output across the capacitor which we are going to observe over here. So at the starting, so at the starting I will be giving some frequency over here suppose 1 kilohertz okay I will turn on on the output so we got some output now slowly we have to so here at present the frequency is 1 kilohertz so starting we are going to start with 50 hertz or we can start with the 10 hertz of the frequency and we have to check what will be the output and as per the output we have to do the calculation so here on the paper the first we are going to note down the output for 10 hertz okay so for 10 hertz so I have made 10 hertz over. now for the 10 hertz so little bit noise over here but for the 10 hertz if you check the output it is 1 2 3 4 and 5 this is channel 1 5 to the 10 okay so for the 10 hertz we are getting the output as a 10 hold so here input to the circuitry that is v in is 10 hold okay that is pick to pick now slowly we have to increase the frequency okay now instead of 10 let it make it 20 so i have made it 20 you can see the output still it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 so uh, 5 multiplied by 2 still it is 10 now I'll make it 30 the still the output is same that is 10 volt pick to pick now I'll make it 
40 you are getting same output 50 you are getting same output 60 70 80 so still you can see you are getting same output over here which is 10 volt pick to pick 90 100 so as i'm increasing it so you can see here now it is 400 hertz of input the still the output is 10 hold pick to pick so again further if i go on increasing now see from 500 1 2 3 4 4.9 into 2 so up to here 10 hertz 20 hertz up to 400 hertz we have got a 10 volt output but at 500 hertz the output got reduced so as the frequency increases the output will goes on reducing so here into 2 so that is slightly reducing the output so 4.9 into 2 which is equals to 9.8 so at 500 hertz it is 9.8 now let us change the frequency and make it 600 hertz for 600 hertz if you observe it is 1 so if you observe here it is 1 2 3 4 so it is a 4.8 so 4.8 into 2 so this becomes 9.6 so for 600 hertz it becomes uh, 9.6 at the output okay now i'll make it 700 hertz again it will go on reducing so i'm getting the same output so it becomes 9.6 volt then 800 hertz so if you see there is a slightly difference in that output okay so still it is same 9.6 volt so now i'll directly jump to the 1 kilohertz so for 1 kilohertz if you check the output it makes a lot difference over here now it is 1 2 3 4 and now this is 4.7 4 4.7 so 4.7 into 2 so it becomes 9.4 so here up to 1 kilohertz okay so it is 9.4 now i will make it 2k so for 2k now you can see the output now it is become 1 2 3 4 4 to the 8 8 volt kilohertz okay so you can see the lot of noise over here so it is 1 into 50 millivolt so 1 into 50 millivolts and so on so this goes on reducing so what happens as we are increasing the frequency so as the frequency is increasing the reactance is decreasing okay and when the frequency is decreasing the reactance is increasing so my dear friends already we have taken all the readings over here let us cross verify whether we are getting a same nature of the graph at the output for this we required a semi log paper over here and to plot a graph on the semi log paper we have to convert this into the gain in db so it is nothing but a 20 log of v naught upon v in so it is very easy so 20 log of v naught upon v in where v in the input voltage which is applied to the circuitry and v naught is the output voltage which we have got over here so at the 10 hertz you can see here the output voltage is 10 this is also a 10 over here so uh, straightforward we can say 20 log of v naught upon v in that is 10 divided by 10 you know you will get 0 okay you can see here. so we have got a 0 gain over here now you can see here up to 20 to up to 400 hertz we have got the same reading so I'll be writing over here 0 now at a 500 hertz uh, the output is uh, 20 log of 
okay 20 log of that is a uh, v naught is 9.8 divided by 10 okay so it is minus 0 0.17 okay minus 0 0.17 now the same reading you can see here for uh, 600 it is 9.6 divided by 10 so we are getting minus 0 0.35 okay then and now for 50 kilohertz uh, we are getting 0 0.5 so minus 26.00 and so on up to 1 megahertz if you calculate you will get some reading but it will be the millivolt over here so now as we have calculated this let us plot this into the graph paper so here we have got a graph paper over here so on x-axis uh, we have got a frequency frequency with respect to gain in db okay so now you can see the maximum negative value which we are getting it is a 26 over here so the reading which we have taken here the whatever the minus highest degree uh, it is a uh, 26 minus db over here so it can go up to 30 40 so here on x-axis we have got a frequency on y-axis we have got a gain in db so i'll be assuming here 50 then 45 then 40 then 35 then 30 uh, then 25 then 20 then 15 so here i'm going to take this as uh, 10 then 5 and then 0 so these all are in the minus minus 50 minus 10 minus 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 0 then plus 5 so we don't require this but plus 5 plus 10 and so on okay so here if i start with this so if i start here this with so it will be here 10 hertz okay then 20 hertz so up to we are going to calculate so this is 10 20 30 40 50 up to here it will be 1 kilohertz then here 10 kilohertz sorry 10 kilohertz then here 100 kilohertz and so on okay so let us plot, plot the graph over here so for 10 hertz uh, if you see the output is 0 so for 10 hertz output is 0 then for the 20 hertz the output is again 0 then the reading which we have taken up to 400 hertz you can see we have got a zero db at the output over here so for the 500 you can see here the 100 200 300 400 so for 500 it is uh, minus point 0 0.17 then for the 600 it is 0.35 then for the 700 it is 0 0.35 up to 800 now if you can see here for a 1k for the 1k it is minus 0.5 you can see a 0.5 over here so it is near about here 5 so this is 2.5 somewhere here for 2k it is uh, minus 1.9 so for 2k it is somewhat here then for 3k okay so for 3k it is 4.4 so it is here then for 4k it is 5 point something so it comes here 5 point something then K. so this is 10 20 30 40 50 for 50k it is near about 26 so it is somewhat here and if you go on further incre increasing the frequency up to 1k it will go on so if i draw the graph over here so my dear friend you can see here at a low frequency you are getting the maximum output and at the high frequency we are getting a less output because as i explained you earlier the reactance and the frequency are inversely proportional and 
because of this this circuitry is known as a low pass filter only the low frequency signal is allowed at the output and the high frequency is separated so the maximum highest db minus 3 if you plot this okay so here it is 0 0 minus 3 uh, it, it will be minus 3 over here and if you draw this you will get a cutoff frequency that is called as a fc cutoff frequency of frequency so hence it is proved that for a low pass filter only the low frequency signal you will uh, get at the output but the high frequency is going to be attenuated for more technical session please uh, my dear friends uh, like share and subscribe to my youtube channel